morning. From a very sunny first weekend in October. We're on our way northwards. We're checking out some friends. Um, saying a few goodbyes. Because we're heading off again. We're heading off without the van as well. So, big change in direction. We're still going to be on the roads. We're just not taking our van with us. You'll have to stay tuned to where we're going. Some of you might guess, but oh, it's exciting! Six weeks. Yep, six weeks. And um, yeah, obviously passports involved, <laughs> and the odd visa as well. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's gonna involve, which is the annoying thing, big suitcases. Which, well, what we want to do, what we don't know, where do we put the suitcases? So there's a lot. day for those of you that don't live in the UK or don't know much about the UK we are on the northeast coast so we're probably about 
180 miles away from where we live in South London. Yeah. Yeah, about halfway up the country. Yeah, about halfway up the country. And opposite us will be like Derby and Nottingham and that kind of area, just in case you're wondering where it might be. We are more than sure there's more windmills here than what there was the last time. Um, just under yeah. a year ago. Yeah, they certainly seem a lot closer, don't they? Yeah. But this is so where we've parked. There's an entrance just through there by the golf course. You can park there throughout the day. And then just over the dunes is the beach, which you'll get to see. Yeah. And Skegness proper is a yeah. half a mile or so that way. Where the buildings all are. And you've got little, you've got a Tesco's, McDonald's, all the eateries, a decent fish and chip shop here Yeah. as yeah. well. In fact, a very good fish and chip shop. So there you go. It's a beautiful beach. And this kind of coastline, like the sand and that goes all the way up, right up to Redcar. Really stunning. And you see we've got big wind farm. It's a lovely day. All right? Yeah. We put our um, big new fleeces on from Primalda. Woohoo! Um, I've gone for the green. Well, Kevin's chosen green for me because he's got them. And he's gone for the orange, which really suits him, actually. See? And as I it is brown because of all the sand. A few boats out there. A bit of a platform going on. But it's gorgeous, isn't it? And dogs can come onto the beach between the 1st of October and the last day of March, I think. Oh, it's Good Friday. So the actual parking yeah. restrictions are the 30th, of, yeah, are Good Friday to the 30th of September. Yeah. And then you can park free, woohoo, because it's darn expensive. Not as expensive as Brighton. So we went to Brighton a couple of um, weeks ago with our son and he paid 20, Two. 22 pounds to park. Mad. There you go. So, Skegness is that way. And if you walk in the opposite direction, down here, there's a nature reserve, Gibraltar Point. You can drive down there, there's a road. Uh, it's one way in, one way out, and there's parking down there. Or you can walk along the beach, it's quite a pleasant walk. It's, I'd say it's about a mile or so. And Gibraltar Point is a nature reserve. There's a big um, reception, visitor center, that's the word. Uh, I think coffee and, and, and stuff like that there. Um, yeah, and it tells you all about the area and what's going on. And obviously at certain times of the year you get to see every now and again the odd seal and stuff like that. I mean this is the North Sea so if you're lucky you might see some dolphins. So, so normally when we come to this bit of beach, or Skegness in general, the wind is usually blowing half a gale and it's freezing cold or it's boiling hot <laughs> um, generally the tide's out <laughs> um, but today is one of those exceptional days where the temperature is just about right or rather the clothes match the temperature almost perfectly the tide is in and all in all today is a very good day it's beautiful it is we woke up this morning and I was cold that's the first time in a while I've woke up thinking oh it's cold but yeah, the sun's come out, and what a glorious day. Sure is. Got a bit of a lagoon going on. Show them <laughs> the lagoon. Yep, there we go, look at this. Our dogs used to love, well, our dog used to love getting in that sort of water. Yep, it was much safer for her in this sort of water. Yeah. She was never one for the lead. And when she got in the water, she just sort of lost herself. So if she was in open water, sea or whatever, she could just be out there and we'd have to almost wade in and get her sometimes. Whereas this, a lot more controlled, a lot easier. Mind you, I'm looking at this, it's quite deep. It is quite deep. I'd say that's a good four foot. That, that's going to yeah. come up to my bottom, or yeah. two foot at least. And yeah. look how look how the um, the sides are. I can like, shows you how like erosion can be. 
That's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah. Look at this. Honestly, you think we was abroad. And over there is Norfolk. Norfolk. Yeah. Yeah. You can see the land just about and what have you. But yeah, it really is a stunning day. What's not to like, hey? Yeah. When you've got weather like this. I mean, 2nd of October can't be bad. I mean, obviously, you might see this 2nd of October 2023 when we're not going to be in the UK. <laughs> No, no, <laughs> hopefully you'll see this before we leave yeah. on our next trip because we yeah. need to uh, get ahead of ourselves. Get ahead of ourselves, get up to date. Yeah, definitely. Well, yeah, so if you're ever up this way, definitely come to Skegness. If you park near the golf course as opposed to where all the car parks are, where you've got all the arcades and stuff, if you want a quiet walk, I'd say this is definitely the place for you. But if you want, a more of a family day where you've got the fun fair and what have you which I did see was still open you've got everything there get a piece of an ice cream and what have you and you definitely would be welcome if you've got a tattoo because like there's loads of tattoo places here and everyone seems to have a tattoo <laughs> and um, in the summertime they have um, little booths for kids to get their um, Stick on tattoos, which I think is hilarious. Yeah. So maybe we'll pick you up later. If not, we'll say goodbye now. Yeah, because we're not very good at doing that sort of thing. We're getting better. We are. Those of you been following for a while, you know we're getting better. So yeah. <laughs> so we'll see you soon. Yep. Go Bye. On. Bye, guys. Hi, guys. So just jumping on to talk about how difficult we're finding being in the UK again. Well, England. So there was a nice little park up in Nailsborough we've been to twice. And each time we've come here, we've bought from the local bakery, from the local coffee shop. And in one instance, I went into um, a little gift shop and bought loads of crystals and um, my bowl got from here. Yeah, yeah, and all yeah. sorts, you know, probably spent in the two days we've been here, about 50 quid. And it's now no overnight parking, no camping, no motorhomes to park overnight. And it was only a little fee. It was like 50p, I think, for 24 hours. Was that right? Yeah, it wasn't a great deal. But the point is, you could you could stop and park. Yeah. And now it's gone. Yeah. So we've been on the road, literally. Can you see me? I've had to take the light out. We've literally been on the road again after a couple of um weeks staying at a sun and staying south in the areas that we know that we can stay around london and this is the second one in yeah. four days that's gone that you can no longer park and it's such a shame and i just feel a bit sorry for the people in the village because or the town because they're gonna suffer i think mm. we was one of those people that did spend money don't we yeah if we get a free park up or a cheap park up we was really looking forward to going in to see the castle, weren't we, tomorrow? Yeah. Do a bit of filming, but we're going to have to move on. So let's see how we get on in the next one. Yeah, very disappointed. So we'll see you later. Bye. Good morning. Pleasant night in Borough Bridge. As you... I don't know whether we said it on the video before. Uh, we went to Nairsborough, but that blew out because they decided they don't want my arms anymore. Their loss, no breakfast, no shopping. So we're just down the road, literally. Um, it's about 10 minutes down the road on the other side of the motorway. Uh, we're just off the A1, Borough Bridge. Nice little car park. Technically, there's only spaces for two motorhomes, which is over there. Um, but we stayed the night anyway. There we go, look at that. Apparently it gets busy, so we're going to leave early. We need to head north anyway. Um, hopefully the weather is still going to be holding. And uh, yeah, great night, nice and quiet. Uh, the parking is, the fee for the parking is on a voluntary basis. A couple of quid for a car, five quid for a motorhome, and there's an honesty box on there. So we scraped all that change together, and we've just about scraped enough for the night's day. 
So, onward. Got to clean the windscreen. Look at the state of this. Oh, you can't see it from outside. Look at the state of this windscreen. You see that? So, good morning, guys. We are on the A1M and we've got to hit a bit of traffic. There was a sign for the Angel of the Pole. I think we might just go past it. We just saw the tip of it over the top of it. There you go, you can see tip of her wing. Is it a sheep? Ah, uh, I don't know. Or is it non gender? I don't know. There you go. I mean, as a raw angels tend to be close, don't they? They are, and some of them as females, but like they're the archangels. Now, hopefully, we don't have to um, have too much of this traffic. So, it's quite a chilly day today, only 10 degrees. We've been up, well, I've been awake since about 20 to 8. I've only just warmed up, and the time is now 4 to 11. But look, I'm driving, and I've got my slippers on. Well, I'm not driving, Kevin's driving. Slippers on. Talk about home from home. So, for the viewers that are not in the UK and never been to the UK, so the north there is a bit of a difference in the weather. Sometimes as much as five or six degrees. But the Kalush is nice and green. Excuse all the um, roadworks. They're obviously doing something quite significant there. Maybe a service station or something. Yeah, we get a lot of countryside in the UK, considering it's such a small country. It's not too bad at all. So we are in Cloudy England, just one mile away from the Scottish border, and that will be country number 21 for us in the van. Woohoo! Well, at the end of the day, you didn't realise you were following a travel channel, did you? Just two lunatics in a van. Border viewpoint. Now, so it's just up ahead, the border viewpoint. Hopefully it says welcome to Scotland. Let's see what oh, it's going to go. Oh, there you go, some Scottish flags that gives it away. Okay, you're the new to the Scottish viewers. There we go. So, people that are outside of the UK, there is a big difference people are very proud to be Scottish, you know, it is a different country, there you go. And I have a different language. Yeah, look at Yay, we're in Scotland! Country number 21 on for us in the van. Pop! So we've actually been to 23, 24, 23. 25, America, New Zealand, Morocco. So 25 countries, I think, we've been like together. Um, yeah, but 21 countries in the van. Yeah. 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 I'll, I'll confirm that with me. Um, I have to look on our um, map of the world. Yeah. This is Scotland. So hello to all the Scottish viewers. Nice to um, meet you all. And um, yeah, we will look after your country for sure. And so Scotland seems to be a little bit more welcoming to people that live or travel about in a van. So we'll let you know if that's the case, hopefully, touch wood. And um, we're going to be about six miles from our park up for the night and hopefully it'll be nice and quiet. Good afternoon from a cloudy but not too bad Scotland. And look at the view we've got in a moment. Is it? And we're going to take a walk down Cruel Park where the fishermen used to go down on towards the beach. Not too bad, is it? Eh? So we found this spot on Park for night. 
not sure we're going to stay here yet. Um, we just had lunch. We're going to go for a walk and probably move on. But yeah, I thought we'd take you along. Yeah. yeah. So, the quill pot. It's been around for about a thousand years. A thousand years. And uh, it's used by the fishermen from the settlement up here um, to get down to their boats. I've got bench going on. I'm more than sure at one stage this was all clear and you could see right across, but there, it can't. It's the amount. <clears throat> Found it too bad, it looks quite cute. We've seen quite a bit of autumnal colours coming up this way. The first lot we've seen. I'd say um, the Midlands is probably about a week behind and um, so in front weather wise and probably up here two weeks it's 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 so a bit of a crossroads or T junction and it was right to go down to the sands or straight ahead to go I think to the abbey but this path struck me and also maybe me going down to the beach and for that so we've come to a sty and the that arrow's pointing that way I feel half done by I expect this to come out onto the beach. I don't know why. <laughs> So this is Colding and Sands. Isn't it lovely? A nice little cove. Some water coming down from the hill. It's funny, isn't it? So if we were in Turkey, we'd fill up the water here. Yeah. <laughs> Get the cattle going on, because obviously we're out of season. So that's us. It's not big in the water. That's good. Looks like you can take the dog on the beach any time of the year. Oh no. Um, between June and September they need to be on the lead. So that's, that's, that's pretty good, isn't it? That yeah, under close control. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Blue sky would help, but yeah. it always makes some good pictures. It does, but we had that yesterday. But we was on a bit trip for that rock pools. This does remind me, I always say things from my that does remind me of um, that beach in north west Spain, Franco. Yeah, yeah that's definitely water coming in, isn't it? Yeah, as opposed to going out. Oh, beautiful. Oh, we do love a rock pool. So, just over there, not see somebody just standing on a rock. We're throwing one in the water, in a big, big pool. Kevin said if I'd have worn my crocs, I'd probably be in the water. He's not wrong. What pigeons? The sun's up there. But if we do that, you can kind of see some light up there. 
Now, why do you suppose there's just one random rock that's just there? I mean, obviously it's come off from here at some stage. I'll say it's obvious. Or the water's worn around. Yeah, it's so random. So, for any of you that are not from the UK, if you got a boat and went that way, you would head towards Norway and Denmark. So that's just giving you an idea where we are. And is that a cormorant on the rock over there? It is, yes. Yeah, just have a look and see a up there. Do you know what I'm going to do? While I think about it, I'm going to say goodbye, but we'll probably see you in a few minutes. <laughs> so, we'll see you next time. Yep. Bye. See you next time. Bye.